Hi guys, this is another leaker problem. Guys, before we start, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment. Uh, thank you. This problem is called Lex permutation. Implement Lex permutation, which rearranges numbers into the lexicographically Lex great permutation of numbers. If such an arrangement is not possible, it must rearrange, rearrange it as the lowest possible order. I sort it in ascending order. The place the replacement must be in place. Must be in place, so we cannot allocate the extra memory and use only constant uh, extra memory. For this one, the next uh, uh, permutation is one three two. Okay, the input is always valid. Okay, guys. So for this problem, basically there is an algorithm. So there are basically like three steps. First, first step we find the pivot. Uh, index for this index starting from uh, this index we found out that uh, lens pivotal minus one is less than the lens pivotal so we starting from the end of this uh, this lens array of slides in golan we found this pivotal index and then we swap the elements swap elements between the pivotal between the uh, between the pivotal minus one uh, element and elements and the minimal elements minimal elements minimal element uh, after pivotal till the end and finally we just uh, swap or reverse elements between pivotal till the end or the end of the last element of this array so let's do that looks like here we need a uh, reverse uh, reverse function but yeah let's do that first thing we need to find a pivotal index so we could just uh, initialize a pivotal or pivotal index whatever you call it pivotal index as the length because this array is always valid, so we don't need to care about whether this array is empty or not. So just the length of length array minus one. And then we just check if pivotal index greater than zero. We need to check if length of pivotal index is greater than the length of pivotal index minus one if we found that so we just break out so we found that pivotal index length pivotal minus one less than the length of pivotal otherwise we just continue with pivotal index minus minus so here we already found the position pivotal index and then we need to find the uh, we need to swap the elements between pivotal minus one element and minimal elements greater than the elements in this position after pivotal pivotal index but here we have uh, edge case if pivotal index is equal to zero which means that we have already reached the la the first element of this array so what we could do is we just uh, swap all the or we just reverse all the elements so here we need a function called reverse reverse elements we take the input of length array and the uh, left index and the right index they are both the int array or integer here we just swap the elements so left index less than the right index we just swap the elements length of left index length of left index assign with the new value that is the right index length of right index assign the value with x after that just the left index plus plus right index minus minus so here if the pivotal index reaches the first element so what we do is we just reverse the elements of this length array starting from zero till the end length 
minus 1. And after that, uh, because we have a uh, theory with this uh, pivotal, in pivotal index equal to 0, so we just retain out. Otherwise, we need to find the minimum element, which is greater, just uh, greater than the uh, element in the pivotal minus 1. So what we could do is we can have uh, like call minimum element right here. We could initialize to uh, to the uh, mass int thirty two that or max int thirty two. That is the biggest number we could have, and then we ha we starting from the end of this null array minus one minus one i greater or equal to the pivotal pivotal index i minus minus if we found the length of i if we found the length of i is greater than the length of pivotal index minus one and min element is greater than the i length of element length of i that we found so what we could do, we can have a token index. Token index, we could just initialize to zero, so we could find the token index equal to the i, and the main element update with the length of i. So here we need to swap the, the two elements. So we can just have the length of target index, length of the target index, assigned with a new value that is pivotal index minus one and the length of pivotal index minus one assigned with the swap value x and uh, this is this completes the second uh, step for the last step we just uh, reverse the elements for the length array between the pivotal index and the right index that is till the end of this array and that should just uh, uh, complete the solution so let's run code undefined mean element okay looks like we have a typo so we just copy it here let me run again That worked. Uh, submit. Submit. It should be a hundred percent solution. Because I just uh, tried it. Because I just uh, uh, tried run it. It's a hundred percent solution. All of us the runtime zero. It beats a hundred percent person. Maybe because of my Wi-Fi. Let me try it again. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so, so guys, the solution is, we the solution is uh, this for these three steps. Firstly, we find the pivotal index. Starting starting from this pivotal index, we found out length of pivotal minus one less than the length of pivotal, and then we swap the elements between pivotal index minus one, and we get the minimal elements after the pivotal index and we swap and we swap them and finally we just reverse the elements between the pivotal index till the end and during the process we have to deal, deal with an edge case what if the pivotal index is the first uh, element so we just reverse the whole array so that is the solution to this problem let me know if you have a better solution thank you